there's some really good checklists out there which help us keep on track and make sure that we are, for example, following the Scrum framework correctly. For example, we're using Kanban in the right way. Um, and those are all really, really good. Uh, but of course, our focus uh, through these pathways is to help us get to the point where we are um, exhibiting, we are using, we are being agile and therefore we've got an agile mindset and how do we know that we're doing that well one of the checklists is to go through for example the agile manifesto um, and use that the four values and the 12 principles uh, as a checklist uh, but what I really like to do to see whether I have understood something is to make my own version of it try and try and boil it down um, for myself um, so in this video and in the next video we'll look at two ways um, that I've approached this um, and uh, see if this helps you uh, as well. So the first one is I'm answering the question, how do, how do I know that I'm agile? If I'm observing a team and they are saying, are we agile? These are the things that I am thinking about. These are the things that I'm focusing on. So the question is, we are agile because um, firstly, we focus on customer outcomes rather than stakeholder outputs. And that there hopefully um, tells us whether we are being agile. Um, everything is normally on a scale, on, on, on a continuum. So how far along the continuum, on a scale of say, I don't know, one to five or one to 10, um, how much, how close are we to, um, be, to that statement being 100% true? Um, we focus on customer outcomes rather than stakeholder outputs. So we are agile because we work in small cross-functional self-organizing teams. Again, on a scale of one to 10, how close are we to achieving that or to being that? Uh, we are agile because we approach a list of features as a living document and a set of options rather than a checklist to be completed. Um, again, go through um, some of the previous videos and some of the ones that are coming up uh, and you will see me talking in more detail about this. But do we understand that as a concept, as a statement? Um, and can we internalize it? Can this become part of our DNA? We are agile because our teams have full decision-making authority and a preference for acting now. Um, so rather than a preference for pondering and pontificating and planning and replanning and waiting, they have this propensity for getting on with it and just and doing something to get some information back. Um, and they're able to make their own decisions about how they deliver the outcome that they have been set. We are agile because we are fully transparent and have clarity and context with regards to the goals that we are working towards. Uh, for this, this is where a team and the uh, stakeholders, uh, the leadership, the users um, and other interested parties um, are working together in a fully transparent way and making sure that there is clarity uh, about what we're trying to do. You may not have that clarity and context right at the beginning. If you've got a propensity for acting now, um, you want to get going. Um, but very soon you need to be using your um, review cycles, uh, your feedback loops to make sure that you are uh, actually that you actually have got that clarity and that you can um, you know make sense of of where you're trying to go so another one then we are agile because we run pilots and experiments as we search for the best solutions to reach our goals again this idea of keeping things nice and tidy and small um, and not investing a lot of time energy money in particular um, in finding out whether what we are thinking about is going to work so have an idea um, have a thesis and then run an experiment or run a pilot to see if that thesis stacks up, um, see, if it, see if it holds true. We are agile because we work on small tasks and in small iterations to maximize opportunities for feedback. Of course, a lot of what we're doing is if, if we're doing it in a vacuum, um, if we're going into a, into a dark room for six months or two years um, and then come out with a big da-da, trying to deliver something, well, more likely than not, we're probably not going to deliver the thing that we that we wanted to, or certainly not the thing that the users want. <coughs> Excuse me. But if we walk with small tasks, if we break things down um, to the smallest possible um, items and, and work on those and do that in short iterations and get those iterations in front of a user, um, in front of a stakeholder, we can then get that feedback. And we are agile because we relentlessly reprioritize to ensure we deliver the maximum value 
again, we do plan in Agile. I've said this a number of times already. Um, and we plan and replan and replan. We prioritize, reprioritize. It is a constant uh, moving uh, feast that we have um, as we are finding our way towards um, those goals that we are that we are, that we are delivering. And finally. Uh, we are, well, it's not finally, because I'm sure there's more, but finally for this list, we are agile because we are pragmatic and framework agnostic. Hmm. So if I'm following Scrum to the letter, <laughs> am I agile? Maybe. Maybe you are. Maybe it's the appropriate thing to do to follow the Scrum Guide as it is currently exists um, to the letter, and that is the best thing for your team. But it's probably not. Um, if it is, fantastic, easy. If it's not, are we being pragmatic pragmatic, and are we adapting what's in front of us and what we're doing in order to best serve uh, the team? Um, so there you have it. Uh, I think that's nine um, ideas uh, that are oh, nine statements that we can hopefully answer for ourselves on a scale of one to ten as to um, whether we think we are agile so we are agile because I'd be interested and um, I'm, I'm really excited if you would uh, write to me and tell me if you've got other sentences that would fit in there but most importantly I'd like you to create your own list feel free to um, copy this list and start and uh, use this as a starting point but have your own list so that you make sure that you and your team understand what it means to be agile.